Two and a half hours. It took me two and a half hours to figure out exactly how you can transfer your bitcoins from Coinbase or blockchain directly onto your USB drive. I hope this video is going to be helpful for those of you guys who are trying to do the same exact thing and are still a little bit confused in this kind of a loaded process of transferring that money. So I hope you guys enjoy this and don't forget to smash that like button below. I appreciate you. I was hoping to make this video during the daytime, but I did not have enough time, so hopefully this time when I'm making it, it's not going to be as confusing and as I thought it was going to be at the very beginning. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We are going to go ahead and start by going to this website. It's called uh, bitaddress.org. So what this website is going to do is going to create you a single wallet. It's going to create you a wallet and it's going to give you a secret key that you will hold on to. So everything you need to do is you will just start off by writing the address of the wallet by moving your mouse around. You can also type in some address, some letters just to speed up the process a little bit. And once it randomizes the key, it just creates your private key and it also creates your Bitcoin address. Once your wallet is generated, you're going to go ahead and scroll down to the middle. And I suggest you strongly to pause the video and go over all of this information right in the middle of the screen because it's so important. You do not want to skip out on this. So go ahead and pause the video, read over this. It's basically going to explain everything that you need to know and we'll continue. The very first thing you would want to understand is that this is your hard copy wallet. You can print this out. We're actually going to generate a hard copy of it a little bit uh, later in the video, but you can use even this page for the future reference. This is your wallet. Nobody else has this wallet. You will be able to just add funds, but going to your uh, Bitcoin address, by using your Bitcoin address and going on to a website like Coinbase or a blockchain and just sending money directly to this address. Knowing this Bitcoin address, you will be able to send the money into this account, but you won't be able to take the money out. Does this make sense? You won't, whoever has this address won't be able to take the money out. You will only have the ability to send the money into this account. This private key on the other side, whoever has the possession of this private key can go onto the exchange like Coinbase and take all of the money out from that account or take the portion of it out. The remaining balance is still going to stay in, uh, the same. So whoever has this private key has the power to take all of the money out of that account. We'll start with a paper wallet. We'll go ahead and we'll minimize this a little bit because it's way too close. We'll start with writing one here because we only need one address to be generated off of that wallet. We'll go and encrypt it. So this is just going to be creating a passphrase uh, that is going to have an additional step of authenticity, um, of authentication uh, once somebody else is trying to get the money out of your uh, private key. If it's you, you will know the phrase and you will be able to obviously take out the money. So we'll just tap out, I love Bitcoin and we'll just, just in case if I forget, we'll copy that and we'll save it. So addresses per page is going to be one and we'll tap out this one again because it just disappeared. So we'll wait a second and then it's going to create this uh, page. Perfect. So now here's the trick. Uh, make sure not to just save this as an image into your downloads because if you do so, it's just going to create a background as an image and it's not going to save the barcode, the QR code, nor will it save the address of your private key and your um, Bitcoin address. So what you would want to do is you would want to zoom in a couple of times and then you would do a screenshot of this. So once you do a screenshot, make sure that it's saved, which it will save right here and it's going to automatically be saved on my desktop. We'll use it a little bit later. So as of now, we can go ahead and copy this text right here, control copy. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the Coinbase and we will send some money into the into this account. So let's go into Coinbase. This is my account. I have $806 in Bitcoin right now. We are going to go ahead and click on send, enter the Bitcoin address. So now I'd verify that this is a correct address. We're going to go ahead and send $10 to this address. 
and we're going to test it. It's going to be my test number three. First two times it failed. That's why I'm saying this is a convoluted process. It shouldn't be as convoluted as it is right now. So we're going to go ahead and send this um, $10, and there's going to be a fee of 41 cents, confirm, and so the money is sent. Currently it is just sending money onto the blockchain account, so we're going to go ahead and go to blockchain, and we're going to, instead of logging in, we're going to go ahead and search for the address that we sent it to, and we'll be able to verify that the money is either there or we're still waiting for the transaction to happen. So we're going to go ahead and input this in here. Okay, it's Bitcoin address and we have $10 here worth of Bitcoins. So now, since we have those $10 sitting here, we're going to go ahead and go to blockchain. We're going to log into your account. This is what your account looks like on the inside. And you will go, so you will see your account like this. And then you'll go to settings. You'll go to wallet and addresses. And then here's the most important part. In order for you to be able to take the money out of this account, you need to be able to use your private key. If you don't have that in your possession, if you lost it, all of that money, all of that cryptocurrency that you had on that account is going to be lost. You won't be able to take the money out. So you can, even if you have your uh, Bitcoin address, you won't be able to take the money out. You will only be able to see how much money you have in your account. So with this being said, uh, you're going to go ahead and enter, you have two options, right? You have an option of entering your uh, Bitcoin address or private key. Let's go ahead and see what happens when you input your key. So Bitcoin address, let's, let's try with a Bitcoin address. So here's your Bitcoin address, we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll go back to blockchain, right here. And then we'll input our Bitcoin address and then we'll click on import. It just generated the wallet right here and we can see how much money is in the wallet. So now we cannot take this money out. It is our wallet. We can receive the money onto this wallet. We cannot take it out. It says it right here, uh, not spendable money. So in order for us to be able to take the money out of this account, we need to use our private key in order to be able to unlock this account uh, on blockchain.com. So the first thing we will do is we'll go ahead and archive this and then we will delete it. We'll delete this address from this account. Perfect. Next thing we will do is we will go back to bit address and we will use our private key. And I know it's going to be a little bit difficult to see this, but you will be able to copy it uh, by highlighting the six and going all the way to the top. It's barely differently shaded, so you can barely see that it's highlighting it. So once you highlight everything, just control copy it and go back into the blockchain wallet and import Bitcoin address. We'll do existing address, and we'll do private key this time. Go ahead and input this private key and click on import. So now it's asking us for that password that we created. And I, you know, I copied it, I completely forgot about it, but it's super easy, right? So I love Bitcoin. So once you're obviously creating your own, make sure that it's strong enough and it's not just as simple as I love Bitcoin. You can put I love all, like nobody's gonna guess that. So once we input all that information, we see that there's no warning sign where it's restricted or we cannot take the money out. We actually have full access to this account. And if we click on more options, we have a lot more information in here. Once we click on the private key, it's going to give us a warning. It's going to say that, hey, do not share this private key with anybody else. You can click continue. And it's going to show you what your private key is. And you can, again, save it and make multiple copies of that. Or, you know, just close it. And the assumption is, is that you already have your account saved somewhere on the flash drive, on the SD card, or you can just print out that uh, paper that we ended up uh, saving as a JPEG uh, picture. So with that being said, now we have full access to our account. The next step that we're going to take is that we're going to go ahead and send that money onto my Coinbase account back into the account that it came from. So we're going to go ahead and click on receive. I understand we're not going to share this with anybody, right? I'll control copy this and we'll close this. We'll go back to our blockchain, send the money to this account, we'll paste it. So once you are in this, you, once you see this window 
uh, it will probably by default will uh, send you onto your uh, personal account that usually most likely won't have any money in it as long as you uh, just open the account. Or you can just go to imported addresses, then click on the imported address, and then we'll go ahead and send $9 back because I don't believe I have enough. So with those $9, we are going to go ahead and click on continue and send Bitcoin. So now we just send Bitcoin back into my Coinbase account. You go to Coinbase, you probably won't be able to see it just yet. Let's go ahead and boom, it's right here. So $9, $9.03. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took me forever to learn and I hope you guys were able to find value in this. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button below. And if you do have any more questions, don't forget to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you. Till next time.